Hello everybody and welcome on this bright day and happy Good Friday to all those who observe it. Now I thought I'd use today's reading space to answer a question my children have asked me. They've wanted to know what is Good Friday and my answer to them was Good Friday commemorates the day Jesus was crucified on the cross. Now, I hope that answers the question out there, not just for youth and young children out there, but for all folks who weren't truly aware. And even though you were aware, there are scriptures in the New Testament that can help you better understand as you observe this day. So these goes as follows. Matthew chapter 27, verses 27 to 44. Mark chapter 15, verses 16 to 32, Luke chapters 23, verses 26 to 43, and John chapter 19, verses 16 to 27. And that said, I'm just going to leave you with a read from Matthew chapter 27. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smot him on the head. And after that, they had mocked him. They took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come onto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull. They gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast the lots. And sitting down, they watched him there and set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads and saying, Thou destroyest the temple and build us it in three days, save thyself. If thou be the son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and elders said, he saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now, if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. The thieves also, which were crucified with him, cast the same teeth. Okay, folks, I'm just going to leave you today with some reflection sounds. And I'll see you again.